Hi, I want to review how we determine the speed of sound in materials and how the different types of amplitudes in describing those waves are related to each other. And it turns out there are many different types of sound and they're based off of moduli of elasticity. And in general, the speed of the sound associated with the given modulus of elasticity is equal to the square root of the modulus of elasticity that is responsible for that type of sound divided by the mass density of that material in 3D, rho sub m. And it's similar to how Newton's laws give us the speed of a wave on a string where we have a forcing element related to the tension in the string divided by an inertial element, the linear mass density. The forcing element here is our modulus and the density is our inertial element. Now what we call proper sound is an oscillation based off the bulk modulus, which is the resistance to bulk compression in a material subject to a change in pressure. So with the bulk modulus, the speed of sound would be equal to the bulk modulus divided by the density of the material, and then we take the square root. So we could take a look at water and figure out the speed of sound under water. So for water, the bulk modulus is 2.1 times 10 to the 9 newtons per meter squared. The density of water is right around 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. So if I take the square root of 2.1 times 10 to the 6th, I get a value for the speed of sound of 1,450 meters per second, which happens to be about four to five times faster than the speed of sound in air. Now, with sound waves, sound waves are pressure oscillations, but they're also based off the motion of pockets of air. So if we were to think about individual air molecules moving back and forth, they experience a displacement parallel and anti-parallel to the direction of energy transfer in that sound wave. So there would be a displacement amplitude that we could describe where our displacement function as a function of space and time would be the maximum possible displacement of that gas molecule times the sine of the angular wave number k times our location x minus our angular frequency omega times time. For the pressure oscillation, the pressure oscillation is just the maximum pressure displacement that we see times the sine of the exact same oscillating term. Well, the link between these two equations comes from the definition of bulk modulus. Back in chapter 12, we talked about how a change in pressure is related to a volume strain. The change in pressure, which is our stress, is the bulk modulus times the fractional change in volume, or change in volume divided by our original volume. Well, with the case of a sound wave, we can imagine some arbitrary area that's remaining constant as the air molecules get displaced, resulting in things either getting squished or expanded. So in that framework, that area piece would cancel out and my change in one parameter over the other is essentially the derivative of my position, my displacement amplitude s with respect to my location x. Well, the derivative of s with respect to x, we call our traveling velocity of our wave. It's just going to be our maximum displacement s max times, well, it's not technically the traveling velocity. It's a spatial piece to our velocity. It would give us S max times our angular wave number K, not omega, jumping the gun a little bit. We do come into talking about velocity in just a moment. So I'd have S max for the derivative of S with respect to X times my wave number K times the cosine of KX minus omega T. Now there is an issue with the phase between the pressure oscillation and this displacement piece. That's a story for a different class. 
So what we want to look at, though, is how can we relate those two amplitudes? Well, my maximum pressure would be my bulk modulus times the amplitude of this derivative. So that would be my maximum displacement, S max, times my angular wave number K. And if I don't know my bulk modulus, but I do know density and I do know speed, I can calculate bulk modulus by squaring both sides of this equation and then multiplying by the density. So the bulk modulus would be the density of our material times the speed of sound squared. So my maximum pressure could also be written as the mass density times the speed squared times the maximum displacement times the angular wave number k. And this is the part that my brain really wanted to jump to, but I had to rein in here. The speed of a wave is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, or the frequency divided, or the wavelength divided by the period, or the angular frequency omega divided by the angular wave number k. So k times the speed is going to give me my angular frequency omega. And that's how pressure and the traveling velocity of the gas molecules, the derivative of position with respect to time, would be linked to each other. Our maximum pressure amplitude is the density of the material times the speed of sound times our maximum displacement times the angular frequency omega. Thanks for watching.